Welcome back here to Mountain Connections. Thanks for staying tuned to Park City Television. You know, I am a fan of art in all of its different forms, and thanks so much to Park City Fine Art for bringing in this next artist to speak with us. It's Jordan Danes. Jordan, how are you Hi, doing today? Hi, I'm good. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. So tell me a little bit about yourself. You are a Utah local, but you lived in yes. uh, L.A. For, for some time, right? Yeah, I was, um, well, for since my childhood, I lived in um, Logan, from okay. Cache Valley. And then lit after school, got married, and then we moved to L.A., lived there 10 years, and then came back to, it pulled us back in. <laughs> As moved, Utah does. <laughs> yes, it does. It pulls you back in. Um, we moved back about four years ago and um, to Midway, we're, so we're close to Park City, and that's um, that's how we, I ended up here. Well, yeah. we're blessed to have an yeah. artist like you back in well, the community. You. It was yeah. so nice to have you back. Uh, tell me a little bit about you as an artist. When did it get started, and when did you start figuring out that you could do this as your career? Uh, well, I didn't figure that out. Well, I, I always wanted to be an artist. I decided I was an artist in third grade. That's awesome. <laughs> I, made, I made a ceramic pig that I was really proud of, and I may have won an award. I don't know. Maybe in my head I won an award. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But um, after that, that's like uh, that was my calling. I was an artist. But so I went through um, school through high school. I had really great instructors and teachers through school. I um, went to. I graduated from Kane um, School of the Arts awesome. uh, at Utah State in yeah. Cache Valley um, with a BFA uh, degree. And then I continued to paint um, after that. We went, all the time you're in LA, I painted. And I'd show in galleries there, um, but it was more like my expensive hobby. Yeah. <laughs> and I, my, I was actually a personal trainer. That was like my main job. And then when we moved back here, it just flipped where I just the proximity to proximity to Park City was just like the door that opened for me That's and so it's nice. been super great. How yeah. was that? Like was it a pinch? Were you yes. Pinching yourself? Like is this real? Like I'm yes. actually being able to, I'm able to do this because it seems like you've always <clears throat> defined yourself as an artist yeah. first, first yeah. and foremost. And so I'm like maybe I'll teach but I'm no teacher. I'm not, I'm, that's not what I'm very good at. <laughs> So I, yeah, you know, like how do you make money at art anyway? So yes, it's a pinch me. It's like how could I have a better job than an artist? So, so I'm, awesome. I'm so let's talk super about some happy. of the pieces that are showcased here. We're so lucky to have yeah. them with us. Uh, tell me about one your inspiration and, and your methodology for creating these pieces. Okay, so um, my work is all about, and so I mean, you can see that I have different works here. Yeah, absolutely. It all has the common um, the uh, common denominator of uh, color, texture, and process. Um, so these two in particular, they're essentially just large color studies mm -hmm. um, where I'll lay down a color and then react to it. So I kind of, huh. you know, I'll lay down a color and then I'll decide if I want to go subtle and gradient. This is more of like a gradient piece yeah. and then or more contrasty. So I'll just, uh, I'll, you know, do like a dark and a light or um, complementary or, you know, so it's, it's, uh, it pretty much starts out as a pretty abstract piece and then I'll take it to completion adding any sort of extra pops of color or texture um, I only use um, I only use knives I don't use okay. paintbrushes I don't mess with paint how does that change like the dynamic of using the paint is it, is it um it just makes it more direct I don't have okay. to, like I don't have to worry about like all the paint in the I don't know I, maybe I'm lazy I didn't like cleaning my brushes <laughs> I just like, <laughs> so you're just like let's just get rid of the brushes yeah just get rid of those I side. would mix my paint with knives and then I decided like why am I using this brush so anyway and then I can get a lot like I really lay the paint on thick so I can get a lot more paint on my knife than I could on my brush so it's more about like just um, being efficient that's so cool <laughs> So anyway, I'll take the painting to completion. I'll be happy with it as an abstract painting. And then at that point, I take it a step further and grab my knives, which I, I have a bunch of different sizes, and I just make these linear patterns all the way down, okay. which can turn it into, um, this one's a pretty, pretty much a, a, like a landscape. Yeah. That one can be a landscape, but it, like they can, they just, they kind of, oscillate between being purely landscapes or purely abstracts and you can you know I like to know what the viewer sees. That's kind of so. the art aspect of it, right? right? The viewer yeah, yeah. interpolation as they call it, yes. you know kind of looking at it and, and, and what does it mean to you? For some people they'll see you know that landscape that you're talking about, mm -hmm. others will see something different. Um, I think it's a really kind of a, a cool process that you take though that you don't have an exact one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plan. Right. You know, you, kind of, you get started, but then you yeah. allow the art to take you where it's going to take you. Yeah, which makes it's for some really unique pieces. Right. 
That's yeah. so cool. So tell me a little bit about this piece here as well, the kind of pop art inspiration, yeah. <laughs> it seems like. This is really cool. I love, one thing I, I will say about all of your work is the color and the texture is so, so good. I love yeah. it, it's phenomenal. Thank you, yeah. well, that's what I'm about. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so for these, these are just fun for me and it's all about just adding as much color and you know, lips don't look like that they don't have blue and green but i just like by adding just the different like the experiment of the different values and tones it makes a like it makes the form of a lip so it's just about again just m th those color combinations and how they react to each other and you know yeah. making some fun pieces i so. think that's so cool yeah. so uh are you working on anything currently any big art projects right now um right now i've just been focusing on this show um that's it's opening tomorrow uh pando fine art six to nine Awesome. <laughs> that little in. But um, I've been focusing mostly on these. I've been experimenting more. So these two, um, I always put like a, the, with the, uh, not always, but these two, they have a dark background. So I've been experimenting more with different colors, backgrounds, and maybe not such linear, just kind of moving it in different directions. So anyway, I just, I'm always trying to do something different. That's yeah. so cool. Well, yeah. I definitely highly encourage the community to go check out your art uh, tomorrow at Pando, 6 to 9 p.m., yep. <laughs> an opportunity to meet you, the artist, as yeah. well, and kind of talk about some of your inspiration and all of that as well. Jordan, thank you so yeah, much for thank coming you. on. We really appreciate it, and we're happy to have you back from L.A. We'll say that okay. for sure. Yeah. Definitely head over to Pando tomorrow from 6 to 9 p.m. to check out all of the amazing artwork. Uh, you're going to want to definitely see all of the beautiful color and texture from artist Jordan Danes. We'll be right back with much more right here on Mountain Connections.